Hello everybody, it has been a very long time, but we are here in Red County for the first time in almost a year. I decided to come back for the first time in, like I said, a year just to say hi to everybody while I still can. Um, because like I said, it is SAMP, so you just never know when uh, things might go haywire on it, but I did want to come back before I go back to GTA World to say hi to some of my old friends that are still in the SASP, because a lot of those same people are still there today. So, uh... We're joined by Mr. Skinner today in this uh, channel. He's going to join us for the first five or ten minutes before his lazy butt gets off duty. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I wouldn't say lazy. I was on the whole five hours. All right. That's pretty lazy if and, you uh, ask me. Listen, there's no ten-hour patrols anymore. All right. Times are different. Times Listen, have changed. Let's be honest. Back when we were all in high school and stuff, uh, we. Uh, we did those five to eight hour patrols sometimes in the summer. Oh, oh Everybody yes. did. We're all guilty of it. <laughs> I'd say 2018 was probably the, the best time for that. Yeah. So, for those that will be watching this video, I'm doing this recorded, so I apologize if there is, is any stutters at all because I have a three and a half year old 7700, so it's probably going to start to show its age a little bit here and there. So,. Like I said, I'm just here for a couple weeks just to say hi. I've already been here a week and a half, so I'm probably going to resign soon and go back to GTA World. But like I said, it's been really great to see everybody, and I did want to do one throwback patrol for you guys because I know a lot of you actually started watching this channel from me playing Red County, and obviously Red County, for a lot of people, we played this for years. Like, this was the video game that we went to, so... It, uh, it's kind of cool just to come back even just for that short bit of time and just say hi to people. The server isn't doing too bad. There was one period there where it looked like the server was actually going to collapse because peak player base is about 25 for about a month, month and a half straight. Then all of a sudden over the last week it ballooned right back up again, which is cool to see because, uh, like we said, Samp is getting old, so obviously it is on a clock at this point, Samp is, so everybody's just got to enjoy it while they can. But, like I said, for those of you that want to see GTA World videos, you will be seeing that soon, because I do plan on going back. So, Mr. Skinner, how's the department been over the last year or so? Because I really haven't been around. <laughs> uh, for the past year, I'd say it's been alright. I haven't been back for all that long. Oh, I, you just got back, too. Well, how about I say I just got back? Um, I think I came back in September of 2019. Uh -huh. After, um being blacklisted for a solid half a year wow what a noob yeah yeah it happens you know and then uh came back and uh since then it's been all right uh just uh, a shame that the server did have to drop off quite a uh -huh. lot but I'm, I'm glad to see that it's picking up again yeah i said it's really weird just how quickly it random picked up. it is yeah um. out of nowhere just well, like I said, I know they unbanned some people, and Tommy's been putting a bit more effort into it the last couple of weeks, which probably has helped. Um, like I said, I don't even know if, like, if this video, if we're going to have the traffic stop or anything, but I did want to at least do a quick video for you guys, even if it's just 15 minutes long. Something for a bit of a throwback, because this is quite of a throwback, let's be honest here. Like, I have not been in this server to patrol for until last week for, like, a year. So just want to give you guys a quick video really just for something old school uh, before we go back to the new school stuff but like I said it really has been great to just see everybody and whatnot they have a bit of a traffic stop going on there oops I've got the stutters right there boys we're stuttering yeah I mean I'm gonna be honest Red County hasn't changed that much from year to year I mean it is what it is at this point, and I think you probably even agree with that. Like, it's Samp is Samp now. <laughs> like, the people yeah. that are on it are what are left on it. Um, I'd say the ones that have wanted to move on already have, and the new people, or like, new players seem to be... They're probably going to go more or less towards GT5 at this point, but there is still an okay player base left for Samp. Uh, Obviously, that number is dwindling, but uh, there still is a okay player base for Samp, which is crazy considering Samp has been out since what, 2005, 2006? That's a long ass time.
What rank are you in the department now, anyway? Um, when I re when I reinstated, they offered me master trooper. Yeah, uh, which is you're a master. what I. Yeah, and then um, for character development reasons, I just took senior trooper. Now I've been back for like three months now. I haven't been promoted, but I'm not really stressing it. I think it doesn't really matter, or doesn't really matter to me at this point. I'm just. I I, I, don't, I don't mean to sound like a robocop because like I, I try not to be put up on situations and stuff like that and, but as far as my Brennan Houston character on Red County itself um, that is like way beyond developed at this point like there, there's yeah. like nothing else to add to him or anything like it's a different Brennan Houston on GTA World than what is on here I only kept the name for uh, just for uh, recognition sake of a silly but it's, it's a different character on GTA World to what it is here in Red County. I mean, at this point, on Red County, he's been in the department now 10 friggin' years. Like, like yeah. I said, I know it sounds bad not to really develop your character a whole lot more, but let's be honest, I'm, I'm only on stamp here for like two weeks just to have a little bit of fun for old time's sake and then go back. Um, but when I'm on situations and stuff, and I'm sure you're the same, like, your character is probably fairly developed anyways after six months now. Like, but when you're on scenes, you still try and remain as active as you can. You're not just going to sit around with your head shoved up your ass. Yeah, of course. That's the that's like the main reason why I came back. I just wanted to mm -hmm. focus more on the role play instead of just the action part of it. Yeah, and I'm going to be honest. Like now that the server is like a bit less in numbers, like the action is definitely dissipated a lot. Like the server now compared to like I'd say three years ago, it. And even three years before that, like, he, Brunt County has gone through so many different eras. I feel like it's in a different era right now where it doesn't really feel like any of the previous Red Counties. And I don't know what reason that is. Um, I think the player core is a lot different. It's shifted a lot over the last year. And like you brought up to me before I started this Let's Play, there's, like, not as many businesses and stuff open now. So, like, there's just not as much community activity. What I... Yeah. And, Something else I noticed, and I think you can agree with me between 2016 and even now, but for me, especially when I compare it to like 2010 and 2011, uh, when we had like Blue Dynasty games and stuff like that, you weren't around for those times, but I found back then people were more willing to get in their car and go to different places and keep on moving. Now I yeah, find, now I find a lot of people are just willing to stand in one spot. Do you find that? Like, they're just willing to sit in Bonnie Park or elsewhere and just sit there for, like, an hour, like, the whole time they're online. And I'm like, I don't know how that's fun. <laughs> I like to go and do something. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> like, um, I know there was times last year I got online and I'd see the same people sitting there after 45 minutes. And I'm like, how do you just sit in Bonnie Park? Yeah. I feel like that's more... <sighs> Because, like, when the player base was, like, really, really low, uh, like, I'd say peak 30 players. Yeah, that was the only spot average. to see anyone. Yeah, and um, since a lot of those people who were active that would, like, open their businesses to provide uh -huh. roleplay, once they lost their businesses, then uh, I think a lot of the businesses that used to be very, like, active or open all the time have been bought by new people, and now they're just... Not sitting active. there collecting the paycheck. Yeah, and that's just it. Like, businesses used to be a big part of Wright County. Like, I remember even, like, four cars and ammunition and stuff like that would host up, like, events and shit like that. People would have to go there, but I, I can't say I've seen very many business events. I might have seen one in my, like, two-hour playtime in the last two weeks. Um, yeah, it, like I said, things are just a lot different now than what they were. And I'm not going to say it's better or worse, I mean, in my opinion isn't as exciting um but generally speaking like there's just a lot less engagement as far as that goes yeah i say um i think it was a uh, maybe like last week the, um one thing that really started spiking up was um like shootings like, a lot of drive like a lot of like just like police involved shootings were just like taken up out of nowhere it, it, it was usually the it's usually the same like group of people but it adds a little bit of a and, and I'm going to be honest this, and people might hate me for saying this but Grand Theft Auto is a video game and guns should definitely be a good portion of it like people might hate me for saying that and say oh you're a light RP'er but 
No, but in all seriousness, this is Grand Theft Auto. You're not playing this just to, like, do nothing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, you've got to have the balance of criminal roleplay, whether it's drugs, guns, and whatnot, and a balance of cops. It's not a cops and robber server, and then there's always that in-between group. And I'm going to be real. If you're not just some regular... I'm, here's how I'd portion out every server. Um, I'd say in my experience on Red County... About 65 to 70 percent of the people are criminals. You have about 10 percent of them as regular civilians, maybe 12 percent, and then the rest are police and or medic. And on GTA World, I'd want to say probably about 50 percent are criminal, maybe more, maybe 60 percent. And then you'd probably have, I want to say you have more civilians on there probably, but even then I don't know because everyone's always up to a little bit of illegal activity. It's Grand Theft Auto. And then there's definitely less cops and stuff on GTA World, but there's more like medics and stuff. Like I've noticed on GTA World personally, and I don't know if I talked about it, my GTA World that's placed or not. You can have 400 people online, but you only need 25 cops to manage it. Like it's a lot different playing experience between the two. It's weird. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I, think, I think that's, that's one of the things that the yeah, uh, server's missing right now is um, the game roleplay. Yeah, like, that used to be a very big part back in like 2018, mm -hmm. 2017. And I noticed that on GTA World when I play there, and I'm not making this video talk up GTA World at all. I'm just doing it for old time's sake. Um, it, it's just more of a conversation video, really. Um, I noticed that when I'm over there, there's always club events and all that kind of stuff going on. Now, that might not be fair to say because, like I said, that server, like at this time of day, probably has 400 players. So there's going to be more people actively going out to host those events and stuff like that. Yeah. But the point is, is that they're happening still. Even on peak times in Wright County, I struggle to find an event that's going on. Like, I remember yeah. there used to be, like, car shows and all that stuff, and, like, clubs exactly. would be open. Man, do you know what was I'd really say, bad? Uh, was the club shootings. <laughs> I can't remember... I think I responded to, I think, maybe one club shooting. Alright, I responded to a club shooting on GTA World, alright? And I was a rookie. I, I was like a brand new rookie in GTA World. Like, this is like in the middle of your probationary training when you're allowed to go out on your own. My first yeah. patrol out on my own. So, like, you're still kind of like in about everything. Because it's a lot to absorb over there. Like, going from here to there, it's a shitload to absorb. A lot of information, a lot of stuff. So, you're always kind of on edge, like, when you're a rookie, big time, actually. Um, I responded yep. to a club shooting, and I get there, and I kid you not, there must have been 40, 50, up to 60 people running out of the club because someone got shot. I was like, holy shit, this is a lot of people. <laughs> like, it's almost overwhelming, right? Because if there's yeah. a club shooting in Red County, if 60 people came out of there, that means that the whole server was in there. So it's a much different <laughs> experience when you got 60 people running out of a club versus, like, 12. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if anything's going to happen this Let's Play, and I don't really care if it does or doesn't. I just kind of did it for conversation's sake to have a bit of fun patrolling around the old place. I, but <laughs> Yeah, you might you might be able to pull over maybe one person, or there might be a... I only plan maybe. on doing a 15-minute video or so done. anyway, because I'm recording, and I don't think my computer likes it too much, but... <laughs> I've got for a simpin'. Oh, God. I still talk to some of the old schoolers from here, like Bunting and Sobo and all them, though. Oh, yeah, um... I haven't talked to Bunting in a minute. Bunting, uh, um, was my... Bunting was the original person to take me on the first ever patrol on GTA World. And then, he, and then he was the one to do my final evaluation over there, too, which is cool. And then his character died, like, two days later. <laughs> I was like, what a dick. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm probably going to give the academy another shot when they reopen uh, recruitment. Oh, you're going to try on there? Yeah, I failed I failed the exam. I, by... I'm, I'm going to tell you, it's very intense. Um, yeah. Like, even the, ex the exam isn't... I didn't find the exam hard. Um, but... What do I want to say? I didn't find the exam hard, but you've got to be... 
like I made sure to like be detailed and stuff like that in my answers. Um, it, a lot of it is common sense, and they do give you the booklet to go through. I mean, there was a couple of things that the booklet wasn't available for. But if, yeah. at least on my exam, it's probably changed a lot. But yeah, so uh, I think it was like it was like the same. Um, it was kind of like the same thing. Um, there was a couple questions on there that were worded really weird. Like I'm not sure if whoever wrote it, um, if English was their first language. Like it was some grammar mistakes, some like, small misspellings, and like, kind of like confusing. What did you take the exam? I took mine back in April, uh, March. Oh, I took I took mine uh, last month. Actually, right. no, I, I have no idea what's on the exam now. Yeah, um, <clears throat> it's it's fairly. I'm gonna guess it's the same. There's like some true or false, some uh, multiple responses. I'm not allowed answers. to comment on it, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, it was alright. Yeah, I I, like said, I, I I am gonna tell you that if you do decide to go to the GTA World route, be prepared to put in a lot of time as a rookie, write down all oh, the yeah, codes and all that yeah. stuff. Like it, it is. Basically, a lot of the stuff that you've learned here, you can almost just take it and throw it out the window. It's you will, you will feel like you're starting from scratch. And that's not to intimidate you or anything, but that's the honest. That's oh, how yeah, I. Yeah. That's how I felt. Look at how long I played on Red County. That I yeah, felt like I felt like I started. From everything's scratch. everything's totally different whenever you switch servers. The kid, the MDCs ran through Google Pro because there's so much to it. It's not, so you gotta make sure you can like alt tab and run Google Chrome and whatnot. Yeah. Usually what I did is I ran Google Chrome on my laptop beside me. And then I could always just lean over whenever I disturbed somebody. So if you, do you have multiple <coughs> screens? Um, I did, but uh, um, oh, well, it died. Oh. Badly. Depression. <laughs> Indeed. It, well, I'm just going to say, if you have multiple screens, it is a very big help when it comes to running their MDC. Yeah, and then my, um... Oh, oh yeah, my main monitor that I um, used for years, I think ever since I built, I built this computer, um, I might have got a little bit um, excited, we'll say, while playing a game, <clears throat> and uh, went to go... Uh, Gently toss my headset onto my monitor, and that uh, it was gone. Ob obviously, wasn't gentle enough because there was a huge crack up and down the screen. So, uh, put that one out of commission. Like not, I I'd say like two months after the other one just burnt out. And then uh, now I'm using this an an older one that is uh, a lot taller, uh, less wide, kind of hard to get used to. Yeah. Anyways, guys, I know there wasn't any action, but uh, I didn't figure you'd get any, to be honest. Unfortunately, just uh, it was that time of night, but it was fun to do a little bit of old school stuff and uh, say hi to a couple people, obviously. So, uh, we will see you guys. Unfortunately, like I said, this will be the only Let's Play that I do on Red County for my return, but uh, I said it was fun to do it. Um, great to say hi to everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, even without a lot of action. Have a good night, everybody.